this. I'm live. But do I believe it? Let's see. 15 seconds ago. Okay, let me try this. Let me. It says I'm live. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna, whoa, that didn't work. Hello, Catherine, how are you today? Thanks for joining me again. While we uh, work on finishing up this pixie house. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe the, thank you, Catherine, I appreciate that. I cannot believe the response. Hello, Stacy and Cindy. I am live two days in a row. <laughs> I was, I have to, I have to joke with myself because you know that um, I don't usually go two days in a row. But the Pixie House, I was on there yesterday for an hour and a half. It's a lot to do, right? And at the same time, I want to try to communicate with all of you. That's why I've got my iPad up and. If I could only figure out how to keep the comments up, and then it might be only one. I ask this, I think, on every single life. Am I the only one that has that issue where there, I lose my comments and I have to touch my screen? Because I don't feel like I ever see anybody else touching their screen to get their comments back up. Anyway, we are uh, going to continue working on this pixie house. We're going to finish it up today, no matter how long it takes. At the end of the live, I will scroll and we'll pick another winner to be gifted the whole kit. So if you weren't, if you don't mind sprinkling, splattering the paint, I would really appreciate it. That's how, um, you know, Facebook, their whole algorithms, etc. right? They know that you like my content when you want your friends to see it. So let's see. Oh my God, Jody, you want me to repeat my joke? Okay, I'll repeat it, but please, everybody, promise me you won't get offended. It's not a bad joke, it's really cute. And it's one of Mr. Pixie's favorite jokes that he likes to tell. And he's got some, you know, dad jokes in his pocket. And I have to say, I, um, I typed this joke in because um, Summer, from is it Niagara? Oh, I'm sorry, Summer. If you end up coming here, what's her? I know it's Niagara something. She's in Canada. She started telling jokes to help Lisa on her live today. Lisa and Lindy did a live, and Lisa was just not. She was tired. She said she didn't have a good night. So Summer thought, you know what? I'm gonna start telling jokes. And I thought, you know what? Something I get a really big kick out of is seeing Lindy like just to burst into laughter when you least, ex you know, like she least expects something and I just love it. I love her and I thought, well, maybe this will help Lisa as well, right? So, okay, don't wanna, please, hopefully, I, I don't wanna offend anybody. I hope this won't. Remember, I, I, I don't wanna preface it, it's a Mr. Pixie joke, but it's funny. All right, so here's the joke. Why don't witches have babies? Why don't witches have babies? <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, while you're, uh, some of you already know the answer because you were watching Lisa and Lindy today. So uh, feel free to type the answer in and I don't have to say it. Uh, not that I mind saying it, it's pretty funny. But anyway, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it was just the, Right joke to make Lisa happy. I am happy that did happen, right? We want everyone to be happy. This is fun stuff. Oh, oh Barbara Jacks, hello. I'm glad you're here. All right, so, hey, Jody. since, do you remember the punchline? Since you remember the joke, feel free to write it in. If you don't want to, I'll say it, but with, Wait, what? I had to jump off early due to emergency issues. Barb! No, 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 no. Not allowed to go back to the hospital. No emergency. Hopefully it was not an emergency with you. You know, if it's 
something to do with the house or whatever. Okay, well, you know, we got homeowner's insurance. I, one time, uh, hey, Renee, how are you? My friend from Rainy Day Vintage. If you don't follow her, you really should. Uh, she does beautiful work. We post a lot of her work, especially her furniture. We post her furniture on this page because she is one of our furniture painters and oh my god, her artwork is fabulous. Here's another one that, gosh Renee, I remember when you started, you, um, I just see how you've grown, let's put it that way. But anyway, I was going to real quick and then we're going to jump into this. I wanted to tell you real quick. Mr. Pixie and I were gone for, I forget how many months. No, maybe almost two months. It was 2020. We were gone and, and we're kind of on lockdown in Texas with their RV. So because of COVID, they locked the borders. And we thought, you know what, instead of going back to Vegas, we'll just hang out in Texas because we were in a tiny town in Texas, felt safer there, right? So we get home and guess what our... Mr. Pixie's walking through, we had wood floors in our house. He's walking through my office into my closet in there and he's like, don't you feel something? Don't you feel your floor buckling? And I wear slippers, I don't, I seldom go barefoot. And I said, no, probably because I wear slippers. And I went, you wanna see my slippers? They're the same ones. No, these are probably newer. But look, right, big old fluffy, thick sole slippers. So anyway, I said, no, I don't. And he walks barefoot. Turns out we had a slow leak. It leaked, we, or we had some kind of valve in that closet. It leaked slowly for all those months under my flooring. And we had, um, honestly, thank God for homeowner's insurance because we had a lot of damage. A lot of damage, honestly. We had a big house, but it did a lot of damage because we had so many custom finishes. And thank God for homeowner's insurance, right? So anyway, let's get going. Oh, 22, my favorite number. I love it. Um, okay, we are doing the Pixie House. And I just want to show you this because this is what it pertains. It comes with or without the Pixie dough. You get the wood house. You, if you do it with pixie, without pixie dough, let's do it all. Let's show you all. You're going to get the four inch candlestick. You're going to get a three inch round. And I'm going to show you why in my mind, it's important for this. And I've already used it, but you're going to get five of like the Jenga blocks. So here's what we started yesterday. And I used my Jenga blocks. I um, glued them on the inside before I built my house and wanted to make a door. So, without the pixie dough, it's $10. If you add the pixie dough, it's $18, which is a $4 savings, because the pixie dough alone is 12. So it would be a $22 kit, but we're giving you $4 off if you add the pixie dough. Now I have to tell you, we are really, after my live yesterday, we sold 15 of these, I gave, away one. No, I take it back. Okay. We have, I, oh God, how many do we have left? I know we have less than 15 left because I gave away one and then whatever we sold and we had started with, I believe 27. So we sold quite a bit just in the time that I did my live. So if you're interested in this kit, it is available um, either way with or without pixie dough. $10 with, uh, without pixie dough and uh, 18 with pixie dough. All right, so you watched your replay yesterday. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. So this is what we did. And I'm gonna remove my comments just so I can see what you're looking at. Okay, this is the kit. Now some of you might recognize it because we were selling it as the gingerbread house kit, right? So that's why we ended up having um, 27 left over because I had accidentally ordered 96 of these. And we sold, on, obviously, that's a lot of kits even to sell. But I still don't want to be stuck with 27, right? That's just money sitting on my shelves. So I wanted, wanted to offer this kit to you at a really great price so you can have fun with it. So this is the house. You're, it's going to come flat packed. You're going to put it together and you'll have instructions. I did yesterday, you can see, I added a door, 
I took pixie dough and I added stones around my windows, all right? I took uh, the paint that I used was chai latte and cream puff. I decided after looking at a bunch of pictures, I wanted to give it, okay, a kind of a cottage look, right? But in neutral colors. Can't wait to show you what I'm gonna do on the top. And here's my question. Have any of you ever been to um, Cotswold, England? They have the thatched roofed houses in the town itself, they don't. We took a tour there uh, with a group, and that's I thought I was going to see these thatched roof houses. They didn't have them there, so I asked our guide, are we going to be able to see any of these? Because that's really why I took the tour. I'm fascinated with the look, and the driver was so gracious. He went out, his, out of his way. Everybody on the tour wanted to see these houses, and he took us to a little neighborhood that was nothing but these thatched roof houses. Also, you can, if you live near Carmel, California, you drive around the neighborhood, you're going to see some as well. That's the first time I'd ever seen them. I was watching um, a TV show many years ago. I don't know if you remember the show. Uh, oh, what was it? Jenny. Oh, anyway, I can't remember her last name. But she showed in Carmel these thatched roof houses. So I'm kind of fascinated with that. So my plan is to see if we can't kind of mimic the look with the pixie dough. All right, so I was telling you, you know, the candlestick, the three inch round, I'm gonna glue those together when it's time. And then I think it's going to help, at least in my mind, it probably won't do a thing, but I feel more secure that, that <laughs> the house is sitting on something wider than just the base of the candlestick. All right, so let's get going. Thank you, Sue Ellen. All right. Love the painted door and stones. Yes. Oh, and I've decided uh, I've got my glue gun on. So you know what? Let's real quick. I've decided I'm going to use this little gem for my doorknob. So let's just get that glued on there right now. I changed my glue sticks. I totally squirted out the off brand, this is the sure brand glue stick. Yesterday for I saw my live, some of my, my clay did not stick. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna grab. Have you ever seen a wax me? We'll use a wax pencil. These waxed pencils, you can buy them in packs. I bought mine on team. It was like a pack of 10. I don't know if it's gonna work on that. Oh, I just wanna pick it up. There we go. What happens, the wax sticks to the little gem. So let me, just, I just need a little dot, right? A little dot without burning my fingers because you know I, I'm really good at burning my fingers. Ah, uh, shoot, okay, that's fine. I can scrape that off later. That's one thing I do like about hot glue is it does scrape off. And if it doesn't, I can always repaint that part of the door, but I'll be able to get it. It's coming off right now because it's not totally dry. Okay, so now we have a little doorknob, right? And I think this is one of the gems that came with your um, gingerbread house. So you might already have this if you decide you want, maybe instead of the gingerbread house, you turn it into a pixie house if you haven't done yours yet, right? All right, so my next thing, I think we're gonna work on the roof. Now, I need my, where's my big pack? There it is. I need my big pack of pixie dough. Because I'm gonna try to get all like one layer. Let's see if I can make this work. This is just part of a pack that it's pretty old now. So because I keep taking it um, in and out of the bag, it's starting to dry a little bit on me. I think a fresh pack would be the best. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's sticky. When you first open your pack, you can feel the moisture in it. And as it starts to dry, it loses that moisture because it, it is an air dry clay. 
So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um, I think I'm going to take my scissors and cut it. And I know that um, Lisa and Lindy, I think when they were doing their gingerbread houses, they put full pieces of pixie dough. I want to try this. I'm going to try... Um, I have this acrylic roller I like to use. I'm trying to... I'm thinking maybe if I roll it, you know, kind of make it flat first, it might be easier than me working with my hand. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I do have a rolling pin, but I don't really think I need it. Well, you know what? Maybe I just need... Maybe I just need to work it and make it in sections. I've never done this before. Maybe that's what we'll end up doing. Oh yeah, I think that's what probably the best thing for me to do is work it by hand. Now some of this being at the very top where the closure is, is a little dry. And that's okay because you get plenty of pixie dough in our packages. And I will paint the pixie dough, so I'm not going to worry about painting this yet. Um, you know what? Let's... I'd like to have an overhang. I think. Because the thatched roofed houses have the overhangs. Let me get some out back here on the top. This is what I love about the pixie dough. And I'm sure all of you who have worked with this do too. It's so pliable. It's not, how did you do that? I did my church roof snow. I worked it and then pressed it down. That's what I was wondering, Catherine. Um, yeah, I love how pliable this is. It's so much easier, in my opinion, so much easier than working with uh, definitely paper clay. I do not like paper clay. I've never liked paper clay. I only used it at the time when it first came out and I didn't know I had choices. And then once I found out there are other air dry clays, I would use those, but they're still not as pliable as the pixie dough. This is like a big marshmallow. Oh, see, I wish if this, my darn, uh, oh, here, you probably want to watch, sorry. So I'm just going to do it in sections. It will fuse together, and it's going to fuse on, I'm not even going to glue it. It's going to fuse onto the wood because the pixie dough has so much moisture to it. So, I think one pack will be more than enough. Catherine, I, I'm assuming, did you do? Did you use more than one pack? I think, oh no, it's gonna be plenty. Because I still have an idea that I wanna do, I'm gonna add some more bricks to my corners here. I probably sh maybe should have done it without the roof on, but when you don't have the roof on those sides, act funny, right? They want to fall apart. Oh, look at that. Okay. And you know, you can follow if you want. It's up to you. You can follow, you know, the um, scalloped edge. Or I'm trying to think if you know, probably did have, I should have pulled up a picture. I even took a ton of pictures when I was in England. Um, I should have them on my computer, but the thatch roofs aren't going to be perfectly, uh, right, perfectly aligned. Oh, you know what? I'm really thinking I'm going to love this. You know what my problem is, is once I get all these projects done that I love, I'm like, okay, now, where do I put all these things? And then I thought, well, 
if I gifted it, I'd need a big old box. I would have to protect, it's really, you know, because that was actually my first thought was, oh, what if I gave it away on my live? But then I thought, well, I don't even have a box big enough. By the time I put it together with the stand, right, because it's going to be on the stand, I need a big old box. And left whoever I gifted it to, I don't put it on the stand, and they can do that themselves. Then it's easier to find a box. I'm looking around because I use, you know, during Christmas I save my boxes. Whoops. Looking like Snow White's house. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. I, I love how this is turning out. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. I didn't mean to get that. I didn't mean to step on a piece of pixie dough. Just put it right in there. Here we go. Okay, you know, and because it's a thatched roof look, I'm thinking I'm not going to even worry about, um, oh, I look, see, one of my things popped off from where? I'm telling you because I, I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't use the right glue yesterday. I used an off-brand that came with, um, a glue gun I bought years ago and I just, right, I, oh, that one's going to come off too. I'll have to go back afterwards and look at those. Anyway, I don't even think I want to smooth this out. I had this idea to make it look a little more thatched. I was thinking, you know, if I ran my fork, I got a good old household fork, but no. Nah going to do that either. Now I'm going to have to smooth it out because now I have fork marks, which is okay. Wait, you know what? Fork marks are fine. Make sure I wash my fork before I use it, right? Okay. Just kind of make, because thatching, right? It's, if I'm not mistaken, it's like big things and they put them on there. Maybe once I get this painted, you won't even notice the fork marks, honestly. All right. Put that aside. Put that away. I put it away. I'm have to put it away later, right? Okay. I'm gonna, I do want to bring that down a little bit. Bring this over a little. Okay. So what do we think so far? All right? The front is down a little more, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to glue that though. So now I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can make maybe a stone that will cover this. Like a square stone, have you seen, you know, how some houses have stones on the front and they're, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, they're square on the corner? That's kind of my thought. Maybe kind of tuck it like that. know let me keep going and we'll see the one at the bottom maybe I just thought it might look better not to have like these little things jutting out you can always remove them I 
Also, I love how we can just cut that, right? And just cut it. Ooh, and my dryer buzzer. Mr. Pixie got home today, so I thought, oh, start working on laundry. When he goes on trips, all the laundry's gotta be done when he gets home, right? The glamorous life of Pink Pixie. Um, wait, what? That Facebook put me in jail for commenting too much. Oh, you know, that happens to Betty Hiltz all the time, too. What's up with that? Right? That's how we get them to... From what I understood, it's how it improves our algorithms. Oh, I don't like that. It's not looking good. I think we're just going to leave it. Got to take it off because see, it's sticking. It wants to fuse to the wood. I think the idea is great. <clears throat> All right, we're not gonna fuss on that because yesterday we were only here an hour and a half, and chances are gonna be it's gonna be another long one. All right, I just wanna close this up because I think for a minute we're done. We might end up doing some pixie dough flowers, right? Stuff like that. All right, so. Now, the thatched roofs I have seen are all like really like dark brown. So I'm thinking I want to paint my roof brown. Oops. Katie, it is wonderful. Put trees in front of the house to hide it. I don't have any trees. And it's not going to sit like on a base, Debbie. That's... Um, but I'll figure, I can figure something out. I don't know what. And maybe not. Maybe um, maybe if I did some vines, maybe it would. But okay, well, let's just keep going because I'm going to end up just, like I said, fussing with all of this. Or moss, maybe. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, I found my moss. I did <clears throat> pull it out last night. <clears throat> So we can play with that, you're right. Maybe the moss, like, growing up, right? So let's, so you you can see, you can paint, paint, you can paint pixie dough right after you take it out of the bag. You don't have to wait for it to dry. Try not to hit my house. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get a first coat of chocolate souffle on and then maybe add some, um, maybe even add some licorice or I could even add like a black glaze just to kind of show the thatching. You know, I should be using that mop brush that Lisa uses I always forget, but I think she waters down her paint when she does that, and I don't. I use my paint full strength. Okay, so for anybody that is joining us, if you didn't hear me earlier, this is a kit that I have put together literally yesterday, right before I went live. I'm like, you know, I have these houses, I've got pixie dough, I've got the four inch candlesticks. Let's, you know, I'm thinking to myself, let's just make a pixie house out of these wood houses. So, um, you know, several items without the pixie dough, the kit with the candlestick and the wood round and five of the Jenga blocks, it's $10 without pixie dough and it's 18 if you want pixie dough. So it's a really good deal because a pixie dough alone is 12. So if you buy it with the pixie dough, it's a $4 savings. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have 15 kits left. Uh, some divided with, pix with the pixie dough and some without. 
but that can be all that I can always fix that on my website. I have to do that. I have to number the inventory so don't, we don't oversell them. And we sold quite a few of these after my live yesterday. Okay. Oh, one thing I didn't realize, maybe I'm going to have to put maybe moss where that where the house goes together. I never painted the inside of that little part. So it's raw wood, but at least the raw wood is the same, pretty much the same color as the chai latte. Here. You know, it doesn't even bother me that the roof, like I said, is just all, um, all kind of wonky, right? It's uneven. Because it's a pixie house anyway. And they would be making their house out of nature. Nothing's going to be perfect. Oh, I'm loving it. I think it's so cute. We'll have to add some flowers, do some stuff to give it some color, right? Since it's so neutral and the only color on here right now is the door, which is red velvet cake. And I can always come back and touch up the white if I still have too much white showing. But that's what I was thinking. Maybe what I do is I come back with a black glaze mixed with the chocolate souffle. And I can always, I don't have to go crazy underneath. I can do that later too. So... I'm thinking I do. I want to give it some dimension. So hold on because I actually have some black glaze pre-mixed. Oh, I just have to find it. Oh, shoot. Mm, I haven't used it in such a long time. Now, I'm thinking maybe I want to use, let's try this brush I've been using, but I want, might want to use a different brush. Let's try it. It's just glaze, so. Oh yeah, I like it. It's adding, it's darkening my roof, which I think the thatched houses had really, really, dark brown roofs, if I remember right. Oh, I like it. Here, I'll point it up so you can see better. So you can make your glaze using our clear, it's called um, Sheer Beauty Glaze, it's clear, and you add any color you want to it, and it becomes like this, like a transparent color. That's what glaze is, it's transparent. Otherwise, if I were to use my um, licorice straight on here, I'd be painting it black. It'd be like solid black, and that's not what I want. I'm just trying to make some dimension to my roof. When I'm done painting the roof, I'll look through some of the comments. I'm sorry you know that I'm challenged and the fact that my iPad won't leave the comments up. And I didn't feel like moving everything off my desk to put my computer here. But I think my computer does leave the comments up. So, like I said, later on I'll have to go back underneath. 
what do you think? You like that? Okay. Now, Josie, question. If you want to put it outside with a planter, could you put forest field on it? And hold on. Hold on. And which one is your outdoor sealer? Okay, so forest field, Stephanie, is the outdoor sealer. I remember this is just thin wood, right? If you're going to put it outside, I definitely wouldn't put it. I'd make sure it's underneath something, but use the forest field because I don't know how the wood itself would end up holding up over time, right? If the sun's mean, because it's just a thin, I don't even know what they make this out of. But, um, here, hold on. So I want to read some questions. Shantae, so how does, oh my gosh, how does Lisa say it? I can't, I can't remember how Lisa, but hello, Shantae. Okay. <laughs> Okay, got it. Thinking would warp. That's what I'm thinking. It might warp, Stephanie. Um, with enough coats of force field, the rain's not going to get to it, but I'm thinking the weather, right? If you have hot, cold, or something like if I were still living in Las Vegas, for instance, where it were really hot summers, and I put it outside, the sun would probably just ruin it. Okay. Okay, thank you, Levada. It looks great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think you should keep it for yourself. I will because I don't know what else to do with it. And it is a pixie house, and I am a pixie. Okay, don't sell. No, I don't sell the mop brush anymore. That's one of the reasons I don't use it. Um, I never really have used it much, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I just make do with these. I forget I have it. Yeah, Katie, the mop brush we no longer sell. The reason being is my manufacturer like almost doubled his price. He, It's made out of goat hair, and the goat hair price went sky high. And I just, you know, it was already a $29 brush. I would have had to charge $43 for it. And I just, honestly, I would never pay that much for that brush, no matter how much I used it. I think it'd have to be... A canvas artist that that was what I was doing for a living before I'd spend $43 on an artist brush. I spend it on a furniture brush because especially when you're selling furniture, it's going to pay for itself. All right. So, all right. So I think we're good here. So I will be scrolling at the end of the live to pick somebody to be gifted this kit. So you, you know, and I pick by, you know, it's like how many comments, the more comments you make, the more chances you have, right? All right, I said I wasn't going to fuss with the underneath, so I'm not going to. But I think it's super cute. All right, so I'm going to put that in water. Um, I'm going to show you something. You're probably, my dad was from the South, so this is an expression he would use, and I'm going to use it on myself today. When I show you my idea, of, remember yesterday some of you um, suggested maybe... Um, I put a pixie by the front door and I'm like, I don't even have a pixie. An idea came to me and my dad would probably say, have you lost your cotton pick in mind? And maybe I have, but I'm laughing. Oh my God. When I was playing with this earlier, um, I was laughing to myself, but I think what I want to do, you know, I think I, Oh, okay. I think I want to paint this. My thought is I have this um, dragonfly, right? And my thought is to try to make a body, and that's why I said I lost my cotton pick of mine, and use the wings for the pixie wings. But I think because of this kind of um, laser cut, whatever it's called, I'm going to need to paint it first. So I may as well just use the paint I have out already and we'll dry it because you really, once I show you what I'm going to do, you really won't, um, I don't want to use the glaze. The reason I don't want to use the glaze is because it dries, it doesn't dry as quick as paint. Another reason why I like glaze, when you want a finish to kind of dry slowly, use glaze. Okay, 
I don't know why I'm painting the wings white, but I'll go back over them later, and I mean white brown. I'll go back over them later and um, probably paint them white or whatever we're gonna do. So I'm gonna dry it. And I'm gonna shift. I would love to learn a shift. I'd love to take this out. Barbara, yes, that would be nice. I know um, Dad used to say two words were different and won't say like, oh, ha ha ha. Yeah, I, I was playing around with this before I went live. That's why yesterday I said I'd probably go live about 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, so it was about 1.30, 1 1.50. I was late because I was playing with this. But I thought, you know, why try to recreate the wings if I have something that might work? And being that it's uh, for this little pixie house, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It just has to work. So we'll see what happens next. Look at that. Try to read some comments at the same time. <laughs> okay. Just think we could do a live video and grab a bunch. I just think we could do, I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm going to grab a bunch of followers. I am on a live video, though. We do have 21. Yesterday, I think I got up to 40 viewers, which actually, for me, is a lot. I am not one of those big, big main people like my affiliates, um, because I don't work my page enough. And now that they're not doing lives, and the reason they're not doing lives on my page is we're experimenting to see if they get more viewers if they're not cross posting and that all that means is they normally go live on their page and then there's an option to tell Facebook to also um, cross post it to the Paint Pixie page so you're seeing them live on Paint Pixie. The problem with that we're noticing they're, on, they're not getting the views that they would normally get if they were by themselves on their page. So like today when I was watching Lisa and Lindy I think they got up to the 70s or something like that. But even then, I mean, think about it. Lindy can get over 200 viewers. So they were on StreamYard. Facebook doesn't like third-party apps either. So, you know, I think it all has something to do with it. So we're experimenting. No, um, Justin's doing lives on my page still. And, um, gosh, so far that's it. Just Justin and me. So it's up to me to kind of fill in. Alrighty, so this is my next thought. And this is what I was playing around with. Can you see? There you go, that's better. I'm gonna take some pixie dough. And I know you're gonna think I've lost my mind. And I'm going to try to make the body just a cute little body. Like, I want to cover the little antenna, right? So there's the, that's going to be the head. That's going to be the head. I want to try to at least make her head because it's going to be a girl. It's going to be a girl. At least want to make her head um, symmetrical, round, right? Okay. I'm going to be brave, and I'm going to glue it on. I'm going to I'm going to assume that the body is going to work out for me, just because I played with it earlier and it did. So there's her head, covering the head of the dragonfly. Okay, next. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Jane, my friend, how are you? I miss you. Jane, it's a dragonfly that I am using the body, I'm using the wings to make, um, a pixie from my pixie house. So, 
So here's, here's where it gets a little tricky because my pixie has legs, right? Do I add another leg? And maybe like her little legs can look like they're just closed, right? And then I want to put like a little skirt on her uh, to make it look like a girl and not like a dragonfly. Because <laughs> it does look like a dragonfly still, right? All right. So that's... Boy, these are some like little pieces here. Huh? Okay. No. All right, so here's a thought too. I'm gonna cut part of this body off. There. Let me do this. They do look, oh, that kind of looks like little feet at the end. But I don't want one leg longer than the other. That wouldn't be right. Okay. Could do, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I've lost my mind, you guys. I've lost my cotton picking mind, as my dad would have said. This is hysterical. We'll just have fun with it. What the heck, right? And then... She could have a cute, just a cute little skirt. I don't even know what I'm doing. Right, I'm just playing. Oh my God, Josie, you are nuts. You are crazy, crazy nuts. Actually, earlier, if I would have just left the one I made, it looked cute. It was working for me. I did that. Those look like carrots. Oh my God, tell me that's not funny. <laughs> a petal skirt, that's what I'm thinking, right? A, oh, a petal skirt. Oh, I get it. Make. Oh, let's see, could I do that? It's so little. Could I make a petal skirt? Oh, geez. Stephanie, where are you when I need you? Where are you, girl? I need you here to make me a pedal skirt. But I love the idea and I am going to try it. I am going to try it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the legs that are cracking me up. Oh my goodness. I just have to rework these legs. Oh my gosh. One is too fat. One's too thin. But I think, Stephanie, you have something here with the skirt. Right? You have the gist. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is cracking me up okay i thank you cindy i have to you know i crack myself up sometimes i have to entertain myself so let me see if i can make this one leg that's too fat right make it thinner And then, I think she's going to have to have, she's not going to be able to have feet. Oh my goodness. This is hysterical. And her little body, she's not going to have arms because she have wings. <laughs> what a great idea, Stephanie. I love it. Okay. I think, um... I feel like I should probably, maybe I should glue the body on and just kind of work with 
what I have here. Right? Except for now she has one leg longer than the other. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to glue it on. We're going to go for it. <laughs> Great idea, Stephanie. The skirt is what makes it. Okay. And if I keep the head and the body together, they will fuse together. Remember I told you that yesterday. Maybe the skirt... I'll probably put the skirt a little bit too far down. You know, maybe I make, let me try a new skirt. Let me. Oh, maybe if I do that, if I flatten it. I'll leave it the way it is. Oh, I do have one. Well, you know I've got Violet Lemonade. Um, I'm thinking, I'm not gonna do anything to the skirt. I'm not gonna take it off just yet. I just kinda wanna see if I can make a new one, maybe something a little larger. like the one that's on there. I think I did a better job. Mm. Uh. Right? I'm trying to... I don't know. I may just leave well enough alone and leave that one on there. Kind of... I feel like, though, I feel like I have it too low on her body and that's why I want to, let me see if I just move it. Use the same one. Nope. But then, it's like she's all torso. Oh look, she's chubby, just like me. <laughs> okay, well, let's try this one again. I think I could get it right if I could get it right. Right? I can get it right if you can get it right. No. There's something about this original one that I... I don't know why I'm having a hard time with that second one. And now I took that off. Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to get this. See, it's the little things that will mess you up. Do I have a flower mold that I could grab to use the petals? I do, and I have leaf molds. Oh, wait a minute, what if I? You know what it is, Stephanie? It's so small, I don't have anything this small. What if I did this? Okay. What if? I try to make individual, and then it'll be more like pointed. Oh, I bet I could do this. Good idea. You have all sorts of good ideas, Stephanie. Okay. Pinch that off. This right now kind of... Kind of looks like a leaf, right? What do you think? Is that is that looking better? They're too big, Barb. All my molds are so big that I don't have, I don't know if I might have the don't leave me. Hold on. Okay, well, you know what? I think this might be working out, but otherwise, I've got these three little ones on the Don't Leave Me that might work. Right? But 
now that I'm working on this, I kind of like, oh, you know, I'm kind of like, uh, what is, does that look weird? Whoops. Do you like that? Or does that look weird? It's her little skirt. Oh, and you know what I could do for the waist? I have tiny, tiny little rhinestones I could put along her waist, right? And maybe give her some, oh, maybe give her some rhinestones at the bottom of her feet. Then they kind of look like rhinestone slippers. What do you think? Like it? Add two more petals. Like in the, I'm thinking the same thing, like, where there's gaps, Cindy, is that what you're thinking? Petals where there's gaps? Yep, okay, that's what I'm thinking too. We're all thinking the same, see, great minds. Great minds think alike, as they say. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, thank you so much for the suggestions, whoops. goodness okay who knew when you jumped on this live to watch me you'd be watching me make a pixie out of a dragonfly but right that's what we do as creatives right As creatives, we have to think of ways to be creative. Oh, too long. Too long and not wide enough. Let me st start over. Okay. And I've got these fat fingers. <laughs> so my dough gets fat. Okay. Right. Okay. That's still a bit, a little bit long. All right, Josie. Josie and the pussy cats. Okay. Who remembers that cartoon? And then they made it into a movie like, I don't know, 10 years ago. And I might be able to live with this and then put is that okay I think it'll be okay and then I think I'm gonna let it sit and set up a little bit and then um, while I work on some other stuff just because these little leaves are gonna be a little delicate and I'm gonna have to paint her. I'm gonna have to paint the leaves. So let's just put her aside. <laughs> well, Barb, Stephanie is the one that gave me the idea of um, the body and the dress. So I, I have to give her credit for that because um, I hadn't even thought about like making leaves or petals or anything like that. So now I'm thinking our little, you know what, someone tried to call me and get that, rid of that. I'm thinking maybe our little pedestal, I want to do it green. Maybe get, you know what, I'm going to get this glued on right now. Get it glued on because in my mind, like I said, whether this really is going to give this some stability or not, it probably won't. At least in my mind, I think it will. I'm just, 
eyeballing it. And that looks good. So I'm almost wondering if I get this on the stand, then it's taller. And then it might be easier for me to like maybe make some vines, like you said, make flowers. Now, if you had ordered our pixie dough prior to it coming with uh, the sunny mold, I think because we ran out of these, a lot of you, or if you did the flower, like flower power kit, I think the mystery kit, we were giving away these little pink molds, right? With flowers. So I'm thinking these, oh, look at that has leaves. How little ones. Okay, that's all right. I like my... I like the way she looks. Um, I think these are like the perfect size for maybe, run, I'm thinking run some vines, some flower vines. But do I want to work on it? I think it might be easier for me. Oh, Barb, I've got butterflies, I've got bees, but I have to wait for all that to dry. I'll show you what I have. Instead of making them, I thought it could be really pretty. I have these that I could glue on there. Oh my God, who's trying to call me from Sedona? And I have these, right? So I'm thinking I might do both, but we'll see. Instead of making them, I thought I would use what I have. All right, so I wanna paint my stand. And I'm thinking I want to paint it. No. It's going to topple over, you think? It's on there pretty, I, I can tell it's sturdy. It's sturdy. But I'm going to paint my stand, and even if it gets glued on afterwards, it would just be easier for me. I don't have anything I can, you know, if I was rising this up and working on it. All right. Let's get, I'm thinking green. Kind of reminds me of a stem, right, if I do green. So I'm going to do a combination of, you know, my favorite, key lime pie. Love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite green. Key lime pie, and then we'll layer some Christmas cookie. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. I appreciate it. So I think while well, you push on flowers or vines, oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I wouldn't be pushing them on and gluing them on, but we'll see, right? Okay. Move that out of the way. <laughs> Doesn't that sound delicious, key lime pie and Christmas cookie? I love this green. This is my favorite green. Love, love, love it. It's so bright and cheerful, and it just reminds me of spring. And like I said, I decided to use it on this, because it, you know, kind of reminds me of a stem, right? The pixie could have her house built on top of a big stem. Gotta use our imaginations. be fun to give to like a sick little girl who loves pixies and fairies. I don't know anybody, thank God. I'm so happy I don't know any sick little girls. But I'm thinking, oh wow. I would give this to somebody, a child that's sick. I'm going to probably dry it real quick. That's my just a kind of a top coat. And then I'm gonna go back and blend some, cause I don't want it to blend too much. I'll blend in some Christmas cookies. What's that? You're being partial, but my favorite paint name is Foggy Martini, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know what my favorite paint name is that I name these. I've never given that any thought. One of my favorite blues, though, is Bumbini Cocktail, which, again, I don't use it a lot, but I love that color. And when I was picking colors, I had to have it. I had to have it, and it had to be that shade. 
that one was a really hard one because it's really similar to the blue that Lisa uses in the watercolor paint. And that's where I was trying to match it. But I think they're also pretty. I mean, I'm thinking about painting some walls in my new house, Mojito. It may be even a lighter shade than Mojito, just to give it a really light tint of that. It's already a really light color to begin with. Okay. Christmas cookie just for dimension right because leaves aren't all one color really so now I'll come back with both right kind of put my brush in both colors and just kind of slap it on there I'm not looking for perfection here And it can be darker in some areas, lighter in others. <coughs> Sorry, I think I have a cold. I think I caught a cold when I was in Hawaii, and it's just lingering. I don't feel sick. Either that or there's something in the air that is making me cough. Cough and clear my throat, right? Okay. There we go. Just simple, right? Thank you, Jane. I appreciate that. Okay. I just want to get up here in the crevices, though. All righty. Okay, I think we're gonna leave that like that. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get real fussy with it. And then, I would like to have flowers coming up this. And I think these little tiny ones, I looked at some of my other molds and they just are so big. And I'm thinking these would probably be a better size, although, I do like oversized objects on undersized, if that makes sense. Sometimes it looks really good, but um, let me grab, because then we can kind of look at things. Oh yeah, someone thought maybe the critters, which could be on the outside of the house. And again, I'm thinking if I put these on the outside of the house, they, the illusion is bigger because the house is so small, because I would like to do something. Yeah, these are just way too big. Um, yeah, the only ones, these are big. And they're also so thick and deep. So I think I'm better off using these little pink molds. I also pulled out, I thought maybe for the, I pulled out a bunch of my wood flowers but I think I like the idea of the molds better because they're dimensional right the wood flowers would be so flat so let's nix that idea and let's see wait what happened what happened to Kathy Williams I've had some kind of creds and oh I know, Kathy, I don't know what's going on. All this stuff going around. Okay. Hope you get better soon. So I think I'm going to use, and I'm going to really put a, you know, I am heavy with my cornstarch. Because these are actually pretty deep molds themselves. Maybe just make them all. So a lot of you already have these, depending on which kits we 
had in, in a bunch of our kits. Or not a bunch, several. I think even the leaves. I think I'm going to use the leaves from this one. Okay. Let me... Oh, and the, what did I do with, I told you, oh, here it is. I told you I took out. So, this is the only kind of moss I have, you guys. I don't know if this, this, it's not the really pretty green, but I, isn't it the one that Lisa uses? Ooh, it stinks. talked about, um, put that aside, maybe, no, this isn't, right? No, you got, it's not the right kind of moss, right? Hi, Lindy, how are you? So those of you, if you did not see Lindy and Lisa's live this morning, you need to go see it. Their projects turned out so beautiful. Okay. working is it <sighs> because when we need something here what if maybe and again maybe this is maybe this is where I do put one of the bigger flowers or a big leaf I could make a leaf right so let's work on that let me let me put this away for a minute I am, I, this is where I need my Lisa, right? The moss queen. All right. Let's make, now I did make some big leaves on a project a while back. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Hot glue, hot glue with what? Hot glue on the flowers, hot glue? See, I could do like some oversized leaves. You know how it's bugging me that, you know, I could have like a little vine coming up, maybe put like an oversized leaf, right? Covering that. I think that might work. I do, I do, I do. Oh my gosh, that moss made my hands dirty. It's making my pixie dough dirty. make it a little smaller and let me grab my these come in really handy these little nail pots to kind of make your veins yeah the only thing is I think I think I can use these, I don't know, for some of them. But I want to paint them before I put them on here. Right? I can I can manipulate it. Okay, it's hard for you to see what I'm doing here. Sorry. Maybe this is something I'll have to think about later and do it afterwards. Like, uh, right? Like... Do a vine that will cover these up, right? At least in the front. The back is not as, you know, you don't notice it as much. But I'd like to paint them first. So maybe I'll leave that for now. And we work on, whoops, maybe we work on this. What do you think? 
work on this, right? I can go ahead and just use the same pixie dough, even though it's dirty. And put some cute little flowers and make a little vine. Oh, very cute, okay. That works if you can manage it. You can add another going towards the door to make the vine look. I think I can make it work, Stephanie. Um, I just, I have to sit here probably by myself giving it some thought and, and really working it because otherwise I would keep you all here all night. I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint the leaves. But I think this could be cute. Oh my goodness, my hands are so dirty. This can be super cute going around. Which one am I missing? I'm missing like this little tiny one. These are cute little flowers. I thought about putting these in my line, but they seem so small. When I say putting them in the paint pixie line, that means the green molds. Anything that you buy that are, it's the green molds, those are paint pixie molds. They uh, make them green for me. Oh, I had to do some work, but Jody, that's a, W-O-R-K is a bad word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's a four-letter word that we don't talk about over here. We don't say that word. Right? Because what's the saying? They said, Dolly Parton said it. I'm not really sure she really did or not, but if you love what you do, it's not really work. You know, let's get that done. Okay. Make two tall, twisty bushes that work all the way around. We could do that. And that's what I mean, Cindy. I've got to sometimes, I have to be off the live. And I sit here, right, and you just start thinking and thinking and thinking. So, you know, like this, right? This, I can glue on here now. Right? It's going to vine... A vine and then glue flowers to it right maybe and because it's a vine it can be green and that's why I mean I can glue it and then paint it after right maybe something like that ah I just broke it but that's okay because I'm gonna glue it on Maybe what I need to do. All right, let's get the glue gun out. Maybe it's better I do a little bit at a time, right? All right. Let's. Do we all use our teeth? I bet we do. All right. So I'm going to do this, this this here we go right I'm gonna kind of what that one broke that's okay and I'll just glue that one on Nice long vine. And try not to burn myself. Alrighty. Nice long vine. What's it 
so far. Some more. Oh, who's getting congratulations? A happy. Oh yes, Brenda. You did. And we'll see who's the lucky recipient today. All right. I think I'm, I am better off making the vines shorter, right? Because then I'm going to fuse that. I can do this. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let me just do that for a minute. Okay. Right. Okay. Oak, we're getting there. Okay, and then I'll add one more coming across there. Oh, I have it. I forgot. Right? I'll put those two together like that. And then come across that way. That's what we'll do. All right. Okay, let's. Oh, I got moss on my glue gun. All right. Okay, we're almost done here. All right. Kind of wonky, but you know, once I get the leaves and the flowers on. Right. So leaves. I said I wanted to use the leaves that came with the mold. Just have to make a whole bunch of them, right? Kind of do something like that, maybe. Just glue those on. See, I have to I have to place everything. That's just how my mind works. Everything has to be placed before I put it on. It's kind of dumb, right? Things you shouldn't have to give so much thought to. I give thought to everything. All right. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put that there. And then after, I'm not going to worry about the flowers right now, but I'm thinking like that, right? So I better start getting on these leaves. I have one more leaf. All right. Time to make a bunch of leaves. Oh, and I have... Pop them all out. Probably should have made. No wonder Lisa pre makes her, pre casts her molds. Right? That way everything's ready. But sometimes I just don't know. Yeah, sometimes I just don't know what I want till I'm doing the live. But I know we're going to need several leaves, but it only takes a minute, right, to just need to cornstarch these. And I'm going to be researching some new molds so that we have some fresh designs. Um, one of the requests, which I will look into, will, are for little picture frames, right? I can't find, I had looked for molds for bigger frames, but I couldn't find them. All I can find are like these little, um, cause I get sent catalogs from different manufacturers. And I'm thinking, is that what um, you would want? Like 
right like little picture frames right for little projects I'm thinking right like right here I tend to overdo things too if you haven't noticed like it's almost like in my mind more is better instead of less is better especially something like this you know I think nope I better glue that first and then place it where place it there we go okay right and then I can put a little flower and you know what here I think this one right and then I kind of have it kind of looking like every other like that whoops oh I made a mess with that moss didn't I hmm okay oh you guys are gonna be tired of me I'm getting tired of me I gotta get this done get this done and we need to and I really don't want to do a part three I may do is I yeah, that's hot is do all this little stuff on my own because you get the gist right oh but that's cute okay I like it I like it there. Better. And that'll be another thing. It'll be a lot easier for me to get the leaves. Whoa, that was wrong. The leaves and the vine painted and paint my flowers probably separately because we're dealing with such a tiny um, area, right? Oh, Tammy, I will try my best to post good pics. You know, I'm always fixing everything on Canva. Okay, we're going to do one right there. So let me make some more leaves. Okay. I'm sorry this has taken so long. I didn't realize it was such a big project. But it is. Right? When you have all this little stuff. But the one thing I'm really glad I got done today is my thatched roof. I really wanted you to see that. Right? And just give me a few secs. I'm going to, um, I think at this point, again, I've kept you a long time. I never know my, it doesn't say 321. Oh, it's been another hour and a half. I told you it'd be a long one. You know what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and um, draw a name. And I'll just stay on here and work on this. So it's up to you if you want to stick around or not. Because I'm thinking I have nothing better to do, really. And while I'm doing it, I could just stay on the live. So give me a minute. I said a second minute ago, didn't I? Give me a few minutes. I keep changing, and I'm gonna draw for a name to see who gets the second kit. Oh. And this way I won't feel so pressured, because I, I feel like I've just been leaving you on here way too long. All right. Okay, let's see. We're gonna, oh. Okay, 
Sharon Eldridge. Are you with me still, girl? You are the recipient of a Pixie House kit. Congratulations, and I, I know that uh, you work really hard. I was really glad, um, glad you're here today because I know you like our products, you like our kits. So Karen Eldridge, I have your address already, and I'll get my daughter to send you out a kit. And um, I'm just gonna stay, you know, feel free to hop off, my feelings aren't hurt. I'm just gonna stay here and work on this and um, see what I can get done anyway. Maybe even in, maybe for the next half hour or whatever, because then it'll be four o'clock. Eh. Personally, I really, until it's time to get dinner ready, I don't have much else to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Betty, of course, I totally understand. This has been a long one, a very long one again. So I am, okay, we're gonna get this done. I really appreciate you all being here for the amount of time that you have. Like I said, my feelings are not hurt. You all need to jump off. You've got lives. You've got other things you're doing. Different parts of the country, you're probably getting dinner ready too. You know, it's uh, 3.23 Mountain Standard Time. Which means what? Probably East Coast time you're getting your dinner ready. Oh, it's going to look so cute. It's just going to be look like a big old, um, you know, even, well, I'm going to put the flowers, but it, even without the flowers, it kind of looks like um, just a, an ivy kind of vine. There we go. Oh, this is a great spot right there. Look at that. Man, I got lucky on that one. I can cover this spot right here. Then I can make some more. Okay. I'm thinking I need one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and that one. I've got to put more glue down. When I get there. Okay. Five more is what I'm seeing. Five more. Five more. Okay. Five more. Uh, oh, Tammy, you're getting, wait, wait, you're getting your teeth pulled tomorrow? Oh my gosh, absolutely. We will be sending prayers. Ah. Oh. Is that because of your abscess tooth? Oh, that can't be feeling good at all. A knock on virtual wood. I don't think I've ever had one abscess on me. I couldn't even imagine that pain. Mr. T cooking tonight, Wendy, if you're still here. I know you're an hour ahead of me, and I think, doesn't he cook around five? I am, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I told you I was on Nutrisystem, so I have my own entree. I've got to pick out what I'm going to eat tonight. And Mr. Pixie is getting um it's not homemade but they're really good it's chicken fried steak we found at costco in the freezer section and thought you know we'll try them on nights that we just need a quick dinner and i put them in the air fryer and they are really good really good put them in the air fryer and then we've got some mashed potatoes and gravy and then i'm going to do a vegetable for both of us Okay, let's see where we're at now. We are there, okay. Right there, let's see. And then right here and right here. 
um, Katie, it's going well. I mean, I'm on what it is. I'm on my first seven days. And what it is, it's um, for the first seven days, it's really very restrictive, which is still more than I ever eat in a day. It's a shake in the morning, one of their shakes, right? Shake in the morning, then an, uh, and a piece of fruit, and then one of their mid-morning, the mid-morning snack is one of their protein bars, then a shake for lunch, and then after lunch, which I haven't done yet, um, between lunch and dinner, you're supposed to have vegetables, and you're supposed to have four cups of vegetables a day, so they suggest breaking that up as like a mid-afternoon snack and what you would have with your dinner. And four cups of vegetables a lot, and you know, a lot of people are like, oh, just have salads. Well, I like salads, but it's funny, I like them more when I go out or somebody else makes them. So I've got some vegetables I cut up yesterday. I was gonna stir fry them and never did. So tonight, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some stir fried vegetables. I think I'm gonna make one more leaf. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, so I'll do that and then I need, I have to do the four cups. I'm not making four cups of stir fried vegetables. And what it is, it's four cups of raw. So uh, it would be really easy to eat two cups of cooked vegetables because they cook down to about a half a cup, right? And I'm using cabbage, which cooks down a lot. And then I could make a salad and that, I'm telling you that's more food than I ever eat during the day. I'm trying to think, okay, I could make kind of like maybe a vegetable snack. I actually have these cauliflower things, snacks that I got at Costco that are good. They're salty, so they're more like instead of eating a potato chip, you would eat that. I had some of those last night. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you all for still being with me. All right, let me paint. I'm going to paint these real quick. I'm thinking, because I don't want them all the same color as my background, maybe I should, um, I'm gonna grab some colors here. We've got this. I think I might incorporate some honeycomb. into my greens, right? Um, just so they're not identical to, you know, to the base. So let's see what we get here. Start with that. And you know what, and I'm actually okay if someone you can see. You know, I had put my phone on silent and I still get a phone call. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, so I was about to say, I was saying, I don't mind that the white shows. It's just going to give it that much more dimension. Right? It's all just a dry brush. And plus, in nature, it's not, they're not all going to be the same color. Throw some honeycomb there. <laughs> I've got all those webs. That's kind of a ear. That's the only thing that's annoying. The webs from the hot glue. Alright. Let's. And then I might even incorporate some um, violet lemonade. Just for something fun, even though my flowers will be, you know, different colors. Ah, uh, that 
one pulled off because I pulled on it. Right. So, you know, I changed brands. I went to the Sure Bonder glue stick. I'm beginning to think. I'm going to like it. You see, I'm just taking different, all these different colors. Not going, I don't care. I'm blending them. I'm trying to get the edge, though, of the leaf, so that's not white. But it doesn't bother me that, like, the white is showing uh, with the veining. Oh, there we go, another one. You know... I have never had this happen with my other glue guns, ever. Actually, I've never even had that happen with this one. So, I don't know if maybe the paint's still too fresh. Well, that one just fell off too. So where'd it come off of? Let's see. And I really, here's that missing one somewhere. There's that one, that one, those are two, those are two, those are two, two, one, right here. Oh, and you know, I don't know if you have ever tried gluing over dry glue. It doesn't work so well. I'm going to do is try, I'm going to try it anyway. Maybe it'll just melt it. And just give it a little layer right there. All right. Go back to what I was doing. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Okay. So what do you think? I'm thinking, Katie, it might be the paint. You know, it's kind of chilly in here. I turned my little heater off because I got too warm. And, um, but you know, there's moisture in our air. It rained earlier today. So that could have something to do with it too. That, um, you know, it's just not totally dried, even though I kind of hit it with the dry, with the, what do you call it, the drying tool. I'm gonna add a little bit of my, just a little bit of violet lemonade and see just to add another dimension of color. And what I'm trying to do now, I'm kind of just, uh, kind of making an, no, nope, still too much violet lemonade. I was trying to make kind of a little corally color, which I normally can do with my honeycomb and my violet lemonade. There we go. Right, kind of another dimension. So this, oh, the dough's da damp, Katie, yes, but that's never mattered. It's, um, I always, I mean, all of us, we, we glue fresh pixie dough on all the time. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like it. Okay. We'll set it aside. Let's just, uh, you know, maybe I'll just add a few flowers. What do you think? Maybe here and there, because that's kind of busy, but maybe just a few. Just do a little dry brush here. So here's like one of the oranges I made. It's really pretty. It's hard to see, but it's, see that? What I did is I mixed my lemon, uh, violet lemonade and my honeycomb together. Um, yeah, we'll just, just play around here with these colors a little bit. I have one here. Okay. Oh, probably. 
probably should do this one green in the middle because it's more like a little sunflower or a daisy. Stick it in my fingers. All right. And then this. Okay. Well, that one didn't turn out so good. Let me. No wonder I got too much green on it. you know but I sell my aprons if anybody's interested they're on the website they're in the area where I have at the very bottom go to shop more or more products rather and they're at the very bottom okay you know how long this these little ones can take longer than the big ones. Here we go. Okay. Get that dark, darken that one a little bit. I don't know that I'm, I don't know. I kind of like the vine all by itself. Oh. That's why I'm thinking maybe just add a few flowers to it. Be done. Call it a day. But I do, oh, okay, so I think I'm going to take, I do have to paint our pixie though, so let me start off with um, painting her wings. Let me get a base coat. I've got creamsicle right here, so I may as well just use that. And then I think I'm going to paint them um, with, oh, what is it, white sand. We'll do a white metallic on her wings, so it kind of gives it an iridescent look. I think you can see me. All right. Oh, her body is going to be really challenging. Maybe we decided what her little skirt would be um, violet lemonade, right? A little pink. Oh, that is so delicate. I am barely touching that. Barely touching it. And then I'm thinking maybe like, uh, oh, she can't be topless. Cannot leave her topless. I could do, um, I'm thinking for her face and her legs, I could do dream sickle right because it kind of mimics kind of a fleshy tone maybe her whole body gets rhinestones so it looks like her bodice of her dress are rhinestones wow it's really delicate so far, what do you think? <laughs> Katie, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Hey, Terry Jo, how are you? All righty. So let me grab a paint in there. Whoops, I did not mean to get violet lemonade on that. got violet lemonade on the wings. Did not mean to do that. And that will show through when I go to put um, the white sand. So I'm going to put that aside. 
and grab, I'm going to go grab my dreamsicle. My white sand. Dreamsicle will be her face and her legs. Let me grab a tiny little brush here. Wow. It always used to amaze me how people would do doll houses. Oh my gosh, like the tiny little ones? Kind of like how some of you were doing, I don't, I can't remember the name of the kits now that Lindy does. Just amazes me. You can work that small. Or work that small and enjoy it. To me, it's like, oh. I'll go ahead and paint her body. Dream sickle. Even though I think you know, I might, oh no, let me put, I told you I was going to do, um, shoot. I need, i got paint in the wings. Okay, I'm going to put white sand on her wings. That's way too much. but I think it'll be really pretty. Um, like that, you can see a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out how maybe I can even add some hair, but not right now, not today, not, not while we're all trying to finish this up. may need a couple coats just to get the sheen that I want my brush is wet so it's always not always smart to paint with a wet brush because it ends up um, diluting kind of like your paint okay let me just get the sides a little bit I'm cute though. This was Tammy's idea, I believe. No, Stephanie's idea. Stephanie's idea for me to do the flower skirt, the petal skirt. It's I have shaky hands. Okay. I have shaky everything when I get nervous. When I go back and watch my live, like my head shaking. I think it's all nerves. So I probably should have cut that off, but I won't. You know? Could look really pretty to put some of the. I think I'm going to put some of the white sand on the skirt. It'll make it glow. Oh yeah. Oh, she's cute. I just have to. Just gotta figure out. What I could do, what could it, maybe some suggestions for maybe some hair? I'm thinking maybe like, I have wire. I, I could maybe, like on the, like on a, one of these really skinny brushes, if I took some wire maybe and twisted it and made curls, and while the pixie dough, especially while the pixie dough I think is still soft, I could maybe, just kind of give her some curly hair at the top there. I might have to try that, but not right now. I do want another coat of Dreamsicle though. 
on her face. I didn't put enough. Okay. <laughs> She's cute. If I add some hair, it'll kind of hide the back of that, but you won't really see it. All right. I think I really like the white sand on top of the flowers, or on top of the color, so I'm going to add it right on top of my flowers, too. It'll just give it a nice glow. Just dry brush some on top. And then it'll actually dry more uh, translucent. I noticed that with the white sand because it's not a true opaque. It will dry translucent. Let me push some of this aside so that I can see what we're working with here and decide maybe like just to place a few here and there. Probably should dry first. All right, so I, oh, I'm seeing, I am seeing some white in there. I'm going to take, oh, see how it's taken? I'm going to take my brush. Okay, so this is where. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my mister, my water girl. I'm going to just, oh, come on. There we go. Add a little water into that. I'm going to grab my, um, my mop brush, and I need to do what? Lisa does. She just pounces it in there. I'll can, I can come back later with more glaze, more the black glaze. But there's way too much white showing. So I will definitely need to come back with some glaze. Okay. And I could, could have actually even, well, I could do this with the glaze too. It's kind of cool. Let's. Yeah, you don't want any white showing. Okay, well, I'm not ready to finish it, but darn it. You know what? I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab that glaze. when you don't close your lid. Okay, it dried on me. All right, I'm gonna try this now. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna tap it off on my rag. I'm gonna grab some glaze. Let's see. What happens if I can get that white gone. That. Without it overpowering my, my chocolate souffle. I think I can. It looks like it's working. I'm really happy with this. I really am. It's going to need some tweaking, right? Um, what I mean by that, like, to come back maybe before I totally seal this, to come back with this brush and really pounce. I'm just trying to get the bulk of it right now. But I'm really liking the look. Really liking it. And there's my front door, right? 
And then later I'll come back, I'll work underneath like this, right? I can be more meticulous. And that's probably a really good reason maybe not, not to glue that onto my stand yet, although I could hold it. Here, just to kind of show you. Right? Isn't, wouldn't that be cute? On my stand? And I'm only gonna put like those four flowers on, on there. Let me dry them real quick. Thank you, Janice. All right. You know, and if I feel like it needs more flowers after, I can do that. So I probably should. I think I'm going to put one right there. Oh, looks like I'm going to need more, another glue stick. What do I do with them? Oh, wrong drawer. Does the glue gun go off after a certain amount of time? I think it did. I think my glue gun went off. So, with that said, let's see if we can use this instead of the glue gun because it turned off. I think it does after a couple hours, which is good. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Dropped it. lot. You know, a few here and there. Just a few. Okay. Hopefully it'll stay. I won't because it's not like the glue gun, right? The glue gun, it is sticking right away. I need one maybe up here. I think. Alrighty, Josie, don't be so finicky. Okay. I like one up here. Maybe I only need the three. Right? Alright, so let's. Let me put one up here and see if I can get it, get it to stick and stay. Because, like I said, it's not using it's not like using the glue gun where it's instant glue, instant stick. You just don't want it to come down. So, what do you think? I think it's cute. Do you like it? Flowers are adorable. Thank you. I have a friend who does a fairy garden who would flip over this. Oh, that's so sweet, Terry. All right, so this is where we're at, and this is probably where we're going to end. I'm probably going to glue this on using the good glue. I'm going to have to figure it this kind of bothers me so if I can figure out I'm thinking like a vine that would cover part of that right kind of just whoa I'm smashing the flowers Oh, 
Oh, and our, oh, I still have to figure out the pixie. So I'm thinking, right? Should the pixie look like she's flying? Right, flying into her door? Right, like she's gonna open the door? What do you think? Hmm. Trying to figure the placement. But I'll work on her later because um, I want I do want to add some rhinestones to her. I want to give her a rhinestone body because we can't have her naked. And, um, you know, although I could paint it a different color, not her skin color, but I think the rhinestones, I have really tiny ones, and I think it'd be really pretty. But that's where we're at, folks. I may add, like I said, a few other little vines or whatever, but I'm really thinking I want to glue this on here because it helps for me to see it higher to see where maybe I want to add some vines or something. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to use this. Oh my God, did you see that? After all that work, I hit it. It didn't topple by itself, just so you know, I hit it. Oh my God. Josie, you're a dork. Okay, okay, okay. It's been, all right. I think I'm gonna let it all dry <laughs> before I do anything. And again, I want you to see it though. So it's going to be like that. What do you think? Do you like it? You like it? Throw me some hearts. Please. <laughs> okay. I know it has been a long day for you guys. I appreciate it. It has been a long day for you. I appreciate you being here. I'm pretty sure if you buy this kit, I'm going to one more time um, show you the details. You can get it two ways. It's $18 if you get the pixie dough and you get the house, you get the candlestick, you get the wood round, and you get the five blocks that I used for my front door. And with the pixie dough, it's $18. Without the pixie dough, it's only $10. So it's really a great deal. And as you can see, it's hours of fun, right? It'll keep you busy. Or if you have a friend, how about a gift? Terry Joe, you said you have a friend who loves fairy gardens. This would be a wonderful gift. But it would be really fun to do with your kids, your grandkids, your neighbors. But anyway, it's been fun being here with you. I love you all so much. Karen Eldridge, you're probably uh, cooking dinner or whatever. You're on these coasts. We will get a kit sent out to you. And until um, next time, i got to figure out what my next project will be. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Love you so much.